Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy Flowers and in this video I'm going to be going over what is in my fridge and my pantry. So if you are interested in that, please keep watching. I know you guys want to see a grocery haul. I know you guys want to see some cooking videos and that is coming. And as I was preparing for that, I said what I need to show you guys before I show you how I'm shopping because it is very, 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 very different um, is just how I'm feeling my pantry, how I'm feeling my refrigerator so that that way it'll make sense when you guys see the items that I am purchasing to fill these cabinets and to fill my fridge. So I'll be showing you what is in this cabinet, which is sort of like the main pantry cabinet and then also what's in this cabinet here, which I'm kind of calling my quarantine cabinet. <laughs> um, I don't put any food in the double cabinet here because it's right above a heat source and I don't want my food to turn or anything like that. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's dive in. Let's start with my quarantine cabinet bring you guys a little bit closer so i call this my quarantine cabinet because this is essentially where i keep snacks and teas and stuff that is just like snackable stuff that i'm just gonna grab quickly because we're in quarantine and that's sometimes what happens when you're chilling at home. Now on the first shelf you see my teas that I have and a little sunflower butter which fun fact I don't like peanut butter but I do love sunflower butter it is amazing. Um, so here are just my teas this 100% ginger drink is my new favorite thing in all the land to drink. Um, it reminds me of the ginger tea that I get when I'm in Rwanda. Um, it's so so good it's from Trader Joe's I usually have more boxes than that so this is just sort of like teas and drink a little bit of raw honey um, some other yogi teas that I love and then the stash tea that you guys know that I adore it's just sort of stacked all the way towards the back this is just all teas and things to drink um, I do not drink coffee at home I have a teeny tiny bit of a sensitivity so that's the only reason why there's not coffee in here as well then oh, I have a I have a step stool. All right, when we come to the second shelf, this is where I have um, a little bit more sweet stuff. So this brand is my all time favorite snack brand. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not gonna butcher it. These are really delicious. I just got these recently, but this right here, this one is amazing incredible the best snack in all the land and i was super grateful to find them in the snackable sizes because in that way i can kind of measure how much i'm eating you know like obviously one pack is a full serving so if i'm having like four packs a day i'm able to you know just just think more mindfully about what i'm putting in my body and how much i'm putting in there but i love 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 these it has really really great quality ingredients and it tastes amazing so these are like my two favorite snacks to have then here I have chocolate so my favorite kind of chocolate is Theo chocolate this is actually a milk chocolate which I obviously should have known better when getting it because I don't do dairy however I was thinking just because this brand is so good that maybe it, it was just gonna supplement it with something else that was not the case so these are some milk chocolate bars I don't really eat these very much this is usually something that I offer to guests when they come over but usually there's like another stack of these so like you I don't know if you guys can see that up there it's just like a stack of bars there's another one and it's dark chocolate so that is something that I need to order my dark chocolate because it's amazing it's delicious so that's what's on this shelf and then when we come up here it's just like extra like side so I really like pickles so I have some pickles up there oyster crackers other crackers you guys will see when I do a grocery haul this has more chips and cookies and things like that but this is my quarantine cabinet cabinet and this is the cabinet you guys are more used to seeing this one here there are some similarities I'll just do a quick pan there's some similarities to what we what I normally have in here but it's organized a little bit different just for um, the type of cooking that I've been doing since we've been in quarantine so let's start high and then we'll come down Ooh, ah. okay so up here at the top shelf these are like boxed sort of processed foods you guys know I don't love processed foods but diet has changed a little bit so I have pasta um, I did have a taco night so that's where those tacos came from a little bit more pasta more pasta um, this rice um, I don't know if you guys for those of you who've been following for a long time I, my, 
I had stopped digesting rice well, um, but recently I was able to like have some rice and it's been really, really good. And this has become like my all time favorite style of rice to have. So I'm definitely gonna get more boxes of that. Had a craving for some chocolate cake. I had like three boxes of those. So that's what that's about. Um, this goes in the chocolate cake. What is this? Oh, this was for like a pot roast, some, some seasoning for a pot roast. And then this is leftover quinoa flour and i think these are flax seeds yeah these are flax seeds and then here are a few oats because the whole um the bulk section in whole foods was down so i just got some oats in here some rolled old-fashioned oats so that's kind of like processed ish type food i like that this shelf is small because i prefer not to have processed food in my home but what are you gonna do all right, when we come down to this shelf, this is like main pantry shelf, main pantry items. So I'm gonna pull this one down just so we can see it properly. Okay, so we have my red beans, my black beans. The sensitivity to black beans has gone down. I still don't eat them as much as I eat my red beans though, but red beans, black beans. This is a little bit of pinto beans. I'm working on mastering a recipe for pinto beans because they cook up really nice and delicious, guys. Just my bean life is getting really good. I would love to do another bean, um, but I haven't decided which one. Maybe black eyed peas. I used to like those as a kid, um, but that's that. This is some quinoa. Um, originally, I purchased this quinoa in a larger bag from Costco, and it was just like the perfect size to fill. Uh oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. To fill the uh, jar. This is all purpose flour. This, ouch, this is grits popcorn because you guys know I like my snacks I guess I actually can move that over to my quarantine cabinet um and then the wild oats a little additional pasta I was originally going to store that pasta in these jars because I just don't particularly care for boxes um but it was redundant and I needed it for the other stuff so once that's gone I'll probably make this pasta next dinner then once that's gone that will become something else and then i've been baking and making a lot more things from scratch so this is cornmeal and that is a self-rising flour that's there and so and then this is an empty jar that once my granola finishes i will put my fresh granola in that jar so that is the second shelf of the pantry then last but certainly not least we have the first shelf which is like the grab shelf um and on this shelf you see some vegetable broth and vegetable stock here here are a few more baking things i'm wanting to maybe divide this shelf into like three parts um but i need to just see what it looks like when it's fully stocked this is a coconut cream that i've been recently really enjoying from uh, trader joe's this create gives me the opportunity to be able to create um creamy pasta bases i don't particularly enjoy canned things but this is like really really good so i'm i'm trying to make exceptions so that i can get the results like intentional exceptions so that i can get the results that i want and this is a really really great coconut cream um that is um seasoning back there and a little bit of baking soda on uh, here in this section this is wheat germ which is my new favorite ingredient i will talk to you guys about that more in my favorite new favorite foods video and then this is a mm, probably like a coconut flour or something like that and then we have breadcrumbs back there okay then i'll leave that one down so we can make it so then the second row is like my nuts row and so I have my almond slices, my pistachios, and then my sunflowers. It was really, I was very happy to finally figure out what kind of nuts I like because I kept just buying general nuts and I didn't, I wouldn't eat them. And not that nuts expire, but they would just sit and sit and sit and maybe get a little bit stale. But these are my top three nuts that I prefer. If I was gonna do another nut, it would be a walnut. And if I was gonna do a fifth nut, it would be a cashew. But now that I know that, I can buy my nuts in this order so that that way I make sure that I'm consuming and not wasting and I'm just enjoying the freshest uh, products. So that is my nuts section. And then this is just an additional seasoning. So this is my pink Himalayan salt, um, pepper, and then that is another type of flour back there. Again, I've been baking a lot um, because I wanna master a delicious dairy-free butter biscuit. So when we come over here, we have a few more seasonings. Um, this is cocoa powder for a sweet potato brownie that I am 
also trying to find the perfect recipe i haven't quite mastered it just yet but as soon as i do it'll be up on the channel a little worcestershire sauce uh white balsamic red balsamic uh what is this uh liquid smoke hot sauce cornstarch and then a few more seasonings here that just couldn't fit in my seasonings drawer which i guess i can show you guys that drawer as well um that just didn't fit in my seasoning drawer i may switch out the uh bottles and put them in um a different bottle you know what i got this and this is not good or maybe i just haven't put it on the right thing yet um a little bit of vanilla extract and almond uh i don't think it's almond extract i think it's just almond flavor that i put in my granola and yeah that's it so that is the full um pantry and now i'm going to show you what is in my fridge we'll start at the top shelf i have some hamburger patties these are hamburger patties um i think they're sirloin that i get from costco sirloin hamburger patty then i have some plain salmon alaskan salmon also get that from costco then i have a marinated salmon this is the best salmon in all the land these are three items that i get from costco in bulk and as you can see so i have maybe four patties here and i think maybe two pieces of salmon in there and maybe like six pieces of salmon in there so it's just right around time for me to go ahead and order all of that to be refreshed so those are like the main food items there and then here on this shelf you see a little shrimp back here i accidentally from trader joe's bought a bunch of cooked shrimp i meant to get raw shrimp for my uh cajun shrimp penne pasta so now i have bags of shrimp that i need to <laughs> do something with but that's just a little bit of cooked shrimp that i sometimes pull out thaw and then toss over my kale salad then i have some ben and jerry's non-dairy fudge brownie ice cream it's delicious you have to try it and then over here on the door i had made mention to you guys that i have a subscription to the pre-brand it's 100 percent grass-fed finished brie beef it is completely and totally delicious i get the new york strips i get 10 a month well i get 10 every other month and it is hands down been the best decision in all the land in terms of keeping a really great steak in my house um, as well as the variety that I get from the salmon and the shrimp and the burgers. So that is what's in my freezer. In my fridge, I have water, then I have my almond milk. I have two of those almond milk, that's for cereal, it's for protein shakes, it's just for drinking with my chocolate. Then on this second shelf, usually I keep my leftover slash veggies here. This is a bag of prepped kale. These are some um, baked sweet potatoes that are prepped for me to make some brownies. And then I have more veggies on this shelf, some pickles, uh, the beet root, uh, the beet stems, the leaves, and then some red beets. And then back there is a little bit of cauliflower. Then in the drawers, I have some lemon and lime for water and tequila. And then here I have a couple different onions. Oh, it doesn't look like I have any white onions, so I'll need to get that. So that is what's in the fridge. When you come over to the door, it's a little bit more interesting favorite dressing in all the land there's actually another one that's a balsamic vinaigrette she this whoever this test made she makes an amazing dressing amazing 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 i'm so happy i found it have my banana peppers this is uh um it is a uh what is this called a primer makeup primer um this butter again i'm gonna do a what are my favorite new things that i'm eating this is the most amazing vegan butter in all the land if you are wanting something that tastes like butter feels looks like butter smells like butter but is not butter this is the butter that you've been looking for your whole entire life this is real butter because i am trying to master a biscuit and so sometimes i do real butter just so i can make sure that the taste from trying the different recipes with my vegan butter are comparable to the real butter nutritional yeast again will be in another video a little salsa minced garlic strawberry jam some vitamins come down to the second shelf barbecue sauce mustard pineapples mayo eggless and soy free and avocado free um some bean dip for chips some parmesan cheese vegan this is a really good parmesan cheese as well i don't know if anybody would be interested and then this is a celebratory the next time i 
I think this is what I'm gonna drink when I'm actually 100% debt free, I haven't decided, um, but this is a celebra celebratory bottle. I'm gonna get a couple more um, and put labels on them so that I know what I'm celebrating because I'm hitting some really great milestones and I just wanna have this whole section just full of my celebratory bottles and I don't have anything currently on the bottom shelf. So that is everything in my fridge. All right, so you have seen what is in my pantry, you have seen what is in my fridge, and if you have been following me for a while, you will see that the biggest difference is that there are a lot of bulk items. And I did not shop in bulk before, in part one, because going to the grocery store was a part of my lifestyle. It was a part of an activity that I got to do because I was on a limited budget and I literally didn't spend my money on anything else, right? So it was a very big part of just being able to go out and socialize and spend money and still engage in that experience without depriving myself. However, things have changed and that has shifted. And so now I don't, one, where I'm at financially, I don't necessarily need that to be an aspect of my lifestyle. But also because of everything that shifted, I have shifted to ordering my groceries for the most part online and having them delivered with the exception of my kale because I just feel like people can't they don't choose the right kale I for the most part have all of my groceries um, delivered and you guys will see that in a pending grocery haul um, and in me doing that it I have to think through making it economical for me and uh, practical for the person that's shopping for me when they're bringing me groceries right so I'm not gonna where you guys normally will have seen me shop for 10 items and I'm good to go to come home I'm not gonna have a personal shopper shop for 10 items then deliver it to my house no I'm gonna try to find 15 to 20 items so that that way the person who's going around the grocery store pulling all that stuff together for me it makes sense it's a, it's a valuable use of their time which is another one of the reasons why I tip which is you know it's just a different sort of thinking through process when I'm grocery shopping and someone else is actually in the store doing it for me. So you will see a lot more bulk, uh, or you did see a lot more bulk because I wanna make it make sense, but then also there's a lot more bulk because there's been so much fluctuation in what we can do and what we can't do, what we can wear, what we can't wear, what the restrictions are, like just stuff happens. And I mean, even with the racial unrest last year, we had a couple times where there was curfews. There were a lot of, there were and there are a lot of things that are going on where the city that I live in they mandated things that would prevent me from being able to do stuff and so with that in mind I just wanted to make sure that I was very very secure from a food perspective with respect to no matter how long if I had to be in my home I could go into my cabinet and I can produce a full meal so that's another reason for the bulk versus previously before where I had the ability to just come and go as I please that wasn't necessarily something that was completely afforded to me throughout the the ups and downs of the previous year and so that particular habit is something that I'm carrying over into my continued grocery experience and so again the cabinets look fuller but it is very much time to um, get some additional groceries so uh, I think that that explains everything but if it does not you know I love answering your questions so leave them for me in the comments below you have a grocery haul you have recipes coming soon you have so many amazing super fantastic things coming and I cannot wait to share it with you so until next time I will talk to you very very very